This, this felt today as though we were at another GCOM meeting uh, because the, the uh, inability of GCOM and the abject failure of us as a commission to arrive at decisions, credible decisions, proper decisions that will determine how the future of this country progresses, uh, our failure there continued today. There was, there was no decision. Um, we have been uh, referred back to our chambers. Um, essentially what took place this morning was a, a regurgitation of the positions of the various uh, our commissioners and uh, an expressed view by the president that we try to come to some reconciliation. After meeting for more than two hours, commissioners representing both sides of the political divide could not give President David Granger a clear idea of the soonest by which he could proclaim an election's date. The president called the meeting with the chairman and commissioners of GCOM two and a half months after the no-confidence motion was passed on December 21st. He could have done so from day one, the opposition claims, to assert GCOM's readiness for elections, instead of engaging in a long, drawn-out legal battle questioning the validity of the no-confidence vote. The main reason why the Commission cannot come to an agreement is because GCOM is split along political lines. There are three commissioners from the government and three from the opposition. They both have different positions and neither side was willing to budge. While the president calls for an early date, he leads the coalition from which these three men come from. And the reason for no agreement is because they insist that there needs to be a house-to-house -house registration to produce a new list for elections. They have said that if the process is condensed, elections can be held by the end of the year. I have always advocated that for the elections to be credible, it must have house-to-house. -house. I have also urged the Secretariat to see how they can contract that exercise so we have the elections in the year 2019. That also see. assumes that the funds that funds have to be made available for the conduct of elections which we don't have at the moment. So uh, you three commissioners are you going to be pushing for this contracted period of house house registration to, to achieve the president's objective of elections in the shortest possible time? I will repeat my commitment to that which mm -hmm. I've said on numerous occasions. Yeah. The opposition PPP is insisting that there is no need for house-to-house -house registration and elections can be held by the end of April. The song about house-to-house -house registration is continually being sung. And you know house-to-house -house registration will take us to election probably till February next year or something. This phrase uh, was used almost ad nauseum by the president in the shortest possible time. We are saying that elections can be held within the life of the list, uh, that is the shortest possible time because uh, all that is necessary thereafter is for the uh, date for nomination day and for that uh, the processes to follow therefrom. The Elections Commission now has to continue its meetings to come to a compromise position and give the President a date he can then propose to the opposition leader and hope that Mr. Barrett Jagdio agrees. There are just 13 days remaining before the deadline for the holding of general elections. The passage of the no-confidence motion on December 21st means elections must be held by March 21st. An extension of the deadline can only be made by a parliamentary vote and the government needs the support of the opposition to do so. The opposition leader, Barrett Jagdio, has declared that he would only agree to an extension of the deadline if he has a firm date of when elections would be held, and that date, he has emphasised, must not be too far from the constitutional deadline. For the newsroom, Neil Marks reporting.